I swear if it's war, it's war They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything I swear if it's war Yo, Munts, what are you telling them? What are you saying, Zach? What are you telling me, man? A rare sight, bro. It's bad to say that, bro. You're like a, you're like a mythical being at this club, bro. Wow, I've been out, innit? Injured. Still injured, but I'm going to see how it feels today. Yeah? yeah man. It's not going nowhere, innit? So let's see how it feels. It's a bone's legend, man. Danger, man. Love, love. Back. I am back, mate, with a vengeance. Gali Messi. Just trying to pay for parking, man. No, I don't know why I eat it. Huh? I'm trying to pay for the parking. Yeah? <laughs> oh, you, you got to pay for the parking, yeah? Oh, wow. Man's got a hand of that. Will Arsenal win the league? Boy. Arsenal, Liverpool, City, man. Arsenal ain't winning the fucking league, bro. <laughs> what a dumb question is that? Bro, listen to this guy. Arsenal ain't winning the league, Chris. You know oh, this, bro. Because you're an honest man, bro. Arsenal don't win leagues, bro. The last Let's be honest. Time and I'm not even. You're going to make it look. I'm not no, bantering. Wait, the last Arsenal, time someone said something league, mad bro. about Arsenal, they got released from the club. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, everything you own to someone. Huh? <laughs> you think they win the league? I think it will happen one day. No, no, bro. I'm saying this year, do you think you don't win the league? Bro, Arsenal ain't winning the league. No, we're playing well. Arsenal don't, Chris. We're playing well. You know this, you're an Arsenal fan, yeah? Arsenal don't win the it's a title. There's a title. No, I'm being real though. You lot ain't got the mentality and you know it, bro. No, no, no. No, no, no. no let's be real, bro. Let's be real. This ain't SC Dons. We're talking about Arsenal. We're in the monster. You are in the monster. You are. You are in the monster. You are in the monster. That's a good way to play. You're in the race, innit? You're in the race. But you won't win the league. You ain't got the minerals. You're in the monster. Arsenal ain't got minerals, bro. Say, Rion. Hold this one, please. I've life treating you. It's alright, man. Let's talk after. Yeah? King, what you say, man? Any words before um, it's plumstead? Nah, man. Obviously, we want to retain our title. That's it. Simple yeah, as. What you say, Lefty, man? Nah, bro. I'm here, man. Bro, how come every week you're doing a mad touch, man? What, what are you trying to teach? Nah, because today, now you've ballers. made today, you've made today now going to be awkward when I. Nah, you'll do it, bro. It's not even awkward. You'll do it. I hope so. I'm like, raw, you know. Who is that? Trust me, man. Get out of Come on. So, Sven, yeah. yeah. Anyone you yeah. see in the green shirt? Up, up, up. Back here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, everyone needs to remember this is our. Yeah, come on, come on. What's a fine man? Get hold of this, King. Is George okay? Lock in. It's a quarter final. Fucking lock in. It's not a joke. This is our trophy. We're the fucking holders of this competition. We can't take it lightly. Do you know how difficult it is to win a trophy back to back? How many teams want to knock us off our fucking perch? This team wants to knock us off our perch. We know that because they're bringing in players that they don't normally play. <laughs> so we know what they want. They're fucking hungry. we got to make sure we match that intensity. Work hard and play the fucking conditions. I believe we can do that because we've shown, we've proven we can do that. And now it's about going out there and doing it again and again and again because that's what great teams do. And I'm telling you now, we're a great fucking team. But we have to go and prove it week in, week out. I know a lot of, like, a lot of people might think this is just a Sunday, but obviously there's a meaning behind the club, innit? Ever since the club started, George and Andrew always say it that the club's won silverware every year. That's their like, that's their thing of showing appreciation for Andrew's mum Paula, innit? So this it's not just another game, innit? If you feel like this is just another game, there's no point you coming on or starting today, innit? Like let's show that we like we stand for something, innit? Mm -hmm. So if, if it's a league, I understand we lose, but we got the playoff thing. Cup, there's no second chances. If we lose today, we're out. It limits yeah. our chances of going to get another trophy. Obviously, it was it was her birthday on Monday, innit? So what better way to say happy but happy belated than us winning today and showing that yeah we're here for something and we stand for something, do you get what I'm saying? Come boys, hands in. Let's get the fucking job done, man. Three, two, one, go! go. One all and we win on pens. One all, yeah? We win on pens, yeah. Kingy! Let's go. Go Nathan. Go Nathan. Love that Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> so Plum said cup quarter final today's lineup we're going for a 4-3-3. Three, three. In between the sticks is one of our own, the cat. Right back, we see the return of Breezy. Two centre backs, we got Dan Varan and Rhino with MK47 doing us a job at left back. Three in the middle, we got Diggers, Lefty, and Tom Beer. And three up top, we got Nathan Palmer, Raw, and the deep Kent Rooney. How about this for a bench? Real strong, we got Jay Boogie, Toby Coker, 
Splatan Ibrahimovic, the Bengali Messi, and the return of Zach Hansa. Okay, then what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of SC Don's Sunday League Football, where we return to the Plumstead Cup in a quarter final against Red Velvet. Our opponents, what do I know about them? I know that they've just won the Woolwich and Elton Premier Division unbeaten. I also know they've got a few UTR players coming to play for them as well to try to do a job over the Dons. Long story short, this fixture won't be a piece of cake. It's going to be a tough fixture. Today's like count, 5,000 likes. Now's the chance to do it. Like the video if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel. Sit back and enjoy this fixture. It's a Sunday League quarter final. No better way to start than a good old fashioned 50 50 with centre fool and a keeper. Just because a man runs like Woody doesn't mean it's his toy story. So good to see the boy Breezy back. What a player. Pressing from the front, forces the keeper to kick it out. A game like this, on a pitch like this, got to insert dominance from the start. It's going to be a good battle in the middle. Old school I know what you're thinking, why is this man running like a kangaroo? Well that man is Brad from UTR. He's a good guy as well, friend of the Dons. But he's going to help out Red Velvet today. Long throw in the box, eventually gets dealt with. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? And no. you see a sideways pass at the back, encourage the two forwards to go and press it. Something I love about the Dons, we're inclusive. The boys sit at home and watch the episodes with their girlfriends. Probably an awkward silence in the beer household at the moment, but it's caught him off balance there. Uh, deep, Rune, uh, deep Kent Rooney picks out Raw. Whips one in the box, Brad from UTR clears it. Only as far as MK47. And then the punters realise Brad's playing. Are you playing here for punishment, mate? <laughs> <laughs> like he got you in the 23s, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> so a goal kick for the Velvet. Keeper pumps one up long into the middle of the park, where it's weighted by the boy Lefty, wins his header, helps it over the top for Breeze. He's going to get on his back, pushing Brad towards his own goal. He clears it, sort of, only as far as the keeper, who fists it away, and Swanee T gets onto him. The keeper needs to wear a beat. Is that the fucking referee in goal? <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes on a Michael Bublé. I think it's been a pretty even start. I'd say we've been a better in possession, but no real chances have been created at the moment. But this is a bit of momentum at the moment for Red Velvet coming forward in and around our box. It's cleared into the middle of the park. Uh, comes to this guy, lets it fly. It's an important block from MK. Rose, Rose, let's go, go up, bro. So a corner to the Velvet. Big man rises, wins his header. That's close. Twelve forty one, short corner for the Dons. Beer gets there early and picks out MK. Looks to knock one in there, deflected off. Only as far as lefty gets pressed well from the big striker. Driving forward, it's that real Rhino. Come on, 13-24, more Dons now, beginning to build. Raw helps one on, how about this for a touch forward from Nathan Palmer. See Neymar do it, Rooney leaves it for Breezy. Good little touch from the ankle of Brad, falls down to Nathan Palmer, next one go. It's cleared away only as far as deep Kent Rooney shifts onto his right. Corner for the Dons. You already know about Lefty's IQ, he spots one early. Good communication from him and Beer. And that's 1-0 to the Dons. <laughs> DJ, it's a mixed audience on a Sunday. Something for the country folk. Fuck me, man. Hey, Brad, welcome back to UTR. Slice up the cake. Up the velvet. Oh, slice up the cake. Up the velvet. Slice up the what? Up the velvet. Nil, boys. Up the velvet. Nil, nil. I know, no, I. Boy, no, no, I. Slice up the what? Up the velvet. Up the velvet. Listen, rivalries are rivalries, but there's always respect. It's good to see Marth on the sideline. Hey, Brad, it's me, Marth. 
So 20 minutes in, 1-0 to the mighty Dons, deservedly so, I think we've been a better side. Uh, but Red Velvet on the break, watch this little movement here from Rhino, you can just see him in camera, just steps on and plays their guy offside. Great line. <laughs> 27 minutes, 15 in, here in the quarter-final, the Plumstead Cup, a real prestigious trophy. South London, Meridian Sports Ground, uh, Raw collects it and picks up beer. How about that vision from lefty, first time ball, forward to Nathan Palmer, I've seen him do it. Good save from the keeper. Oh, oh, so more Dons, another corner again, lefty takes it short for Raw. Raw gives it back to lefty, in swinger, fires it in the box, it's cleared away. Number 19 gets his head to it as well, Beard just stops it dead. How about this footwork from the boy, watch this, little shimmy, that kind of KO5 thing. Whipped it in, a bit too much on it. Bro, circle X, circle X, chop, circle X. Bro, you got that. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Approaching the 30th now, ball long forward, come down to Diggers. The boy always getting involved in the dirty work, gets shoved off it there, facing the mud. Don't worry, bro, you'll be in Cancun this time next week. Uh, number 16, I think that is, fires it in. Good hands from the cat, one of our own. 32-07, pretty much in control of this game, I must be honest, but you know Sunday League football, when it's 1-0, it's anyone's game. More vision again from lefty. Excellent find for Breezy. The young punters on the sideline picking him out. More from the Dons now. Rooney, or maybe Luke Delap, because he's got them long throws on lock at the moment. He picks out lefty, tries to use his right foot. Gets caught out there. There's a break from Velvet. That's another good line from the defence. He's miles offside. Lefty, 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 left foot, left foot, left foot only, no, left foot only, lefty, left foot only. No look passes from centre back. Rano had to leave that one in. Rion, 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 we get it, we get it. Rion, we get it. Got to give flowers to the boy Rhino. Maybe it's Rhino O'Shea, bit of a utility player for the Dons at the moment, stepping in when needed. Uh, Raw passes it forward to Diggers. This is this is big shout for a penalty, by the way. Looked like a handball to me. Ref weren't having it. Now it ain't deja vu, it's more from Rhino. Passes through to the middle of the park. Good hold up play there from Breezy. Flicks it round the back for Nathan Palmer. Lovely little back heel towards Rooney, cleared away from Velvet. We've got Rhino just facing the mud. Now one of the danger moments for Red Velvet at the moment actually comes from their throw-ons. It's the boy Brad, he's got a long throw on, he throws it into the box, but it's dealt with from Varane. It's a goal kick. 39-15 and it's more Rhino moving like Maguire as he fires one into Nathan Palmer. A little flip round the back, Breezy gets caught out. Free kick in a good area. Say what you want about the Dons, but what we are is sportsmen. Lefty didn't believe it was a free kick, so he kicked it out. This is with Lefty. So into the last five of the first half, it's been a good shift from the boys at the moment. We've been the better side. 14 wins his header though. Flicked on by the number 10. I'm not gonna hear the last of this, bro. So 1-1, one, one, Velvet back in the game. Miss number 14 celebrating in front of the Don's punt as he plays for UTR as well. Hopefully he ain't celebrating too early. They say Velvet cake tastes better the longer you leave it. Pause. So one apiece, good bit of momentum at the moment for Red Velvet. Brad on the ball again, he's gonna launch one in there. It's a great little throw on right deep into the box, into the danger zone. It falls down to the number 11, strikes it. That is close. 43-14 now, been a shaky few minutes to be honest for the Dons, but we've managed to kind of weather the storm a little bit, uh, it's one over the top, Raw wins his header, it comes through to Nathan Palmer, can we try and nick one just before the half closes, it drives into the box, 
goes out for a corner. Now listen, I love the Dons. I've got a big heart. I'd be lying if I say I'm not biased to some of the lads. We're in an era now where it's all about the Dinos, the Zach Hansers, the Brad Tastics. Common folk like diggers don't get much highlights. Pulled me aside, said he's got a new Colombian one around him. She watches the episodes every week. Promise I'd leave something in there for him. In case she was doing her nails diggers. Here's a replay. You're telling me, man, where's so? Getting me a new car. Yeah? You can't play it, why? Back Sunday. Next Sunday, week. yeah. So, last few moments of the half now. One apiece to go into the final 45. I think it goes to penalties and there's no extra time. We're not going to want that. So, we're going to regroup at half time and see what we can do. Yeah. No, I've been naturally higher. Oh, you've been naturally I've been naturally higher. I've been telling them from yeah, yeah. minute yeah, first, for the first couple of kicks to start, start higher because it can't be Nad. Leave Nad alone. I'm in the space on the left. The reason, the reason why is because they've both gone. We keep and going it's for one ball. And it's dropped him. So one one, 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 one person needs to decide. But what happened there is they've both gone step up. into their hole. We're, 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 we've seen his kick. Yeah. 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 We're in yeah. front of goal in yeah. the final third. Now he's uh, on, back and forth to the well, What's this passing blame thing, bro? I'm saying we should be, the game should be put to bed. So it should be 1-0. We win 1-0. You can't win 1-0. So you can't win 1-0. Man, it's done. It's done. But offside is defensively good, though. If you keep making the run and you're onside, you need to follow him. No? Offside is defensive. So should you follow him or not? No. When he's onside, you should I follow him. Follow. The, man, the problem is the, the first ball, Nate. No, 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 the problem is the, the first ball. The man was onside. Are and you ready to play, guys? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here. Okay. Long time. Nobody's following this. Because we I can't. can't. The we ball's dropped over now, Ted, and I'm there. They've had one opportunity from one pass. Shit defending from us. But the whole 45 minutes, we're in control of the game. We're in control of the chaos. The amount of final third entries we've had, we've just not been clinical and ruthless enough when we get into the final third. Everything that they do in our back line has been fantastic. Step up, offside, straight away. Really, really good. It's just when we get into those, that final third, we have to make sure that we're being absolutely ruthless. What I need is, I need you to hold width for me. So there's going to be times where you can come inside, but for the majority of the time, we need to hold width because we need to make that back line stretch. And that allows the gaps for Nathan and the gaps for Luke. So yeah, when the ball's out wide on Rory's side, you might come inside the pitch. But oh, well. like, if we lose today, it'll be because of Bessie Don. Nothing else, not because of what they've got. We need to make sure that one, we're not playing those risky passes around the back, those sideways passes, because we've seen that any mistakes can get punished. And two, when that ball's going forward, we need to make sure we get bodies in around that second. We've conceded that a shit time, it's probably is the back four's fault, but I just think generally that over the pitch, I think we've, we're 1-0 up and we've got a foothold in the game where we're dominating, but we're going back into that thing of, we're doing what's better for individuals at times. Like, just go back to playing what, like, what's, what works for the team, innit? Just little things, whether it's setting someone or passing at the right time or trusting each other, I'll just do that and we'll score more goals. Identify weak areas and let's exploit it because we ain't got no weak areas on our, on, on, on our side. And so that's why they're not getting much joy. But just do the right things, that's when the game's run. It's not about how well we play, it's about winning the game, innit? High energy wins this game because you can have all the ability, but we've got to outwork them, innit? So let's keep those energy levels high, boys. Ready? Three, two, one, done! done. Go and get yourself a goal, man. Support the club. This week's discount code, Sunday15. That's 15% off all active SE Dons kits. Shipping worldwide, all sizes. Just type in Sunday15 and you get your 15% off. So, second half begins. Man! One all in the Plum said Cup quarter final. But some of you just stuck around for the tackles. Yes, diggers! <laughs> 49 13. Beer gains a yard, lets one fly. That was going to hit the target. And some of you are still here for the tackles. <laughs> Ref takes Raw's number. Pause. 51 18. Down the left hand flank. MK helps it on, but it's headed forward from Red Velvet and helped along as well. It's a break now. Three versus two. A big man out wide tries to whip one in the box. Dan Varan clears it. Enjoy defending as a team! <laughs> Ellis, enjoy defending as a team! Big G telling the boys enjoy defending. Don't know if Rhino needed to fart or something there because he's turned around and it's come off his, you know, uh, bounced only as far as number 11. He gives it to the number 8. Looks to fire one in the box. It bounces awkwardly. Raw clears it only as far as the number 20 or whatever that was. Bounces in and that's 2-1 to the Velvet. No! 
So 2-1 Velvet calls for a triple change from Kingy. Beer, Raw and Diggers off. Toby Coca, Jay Boogie and the Bengali Messi on. So 2-1 down, half an hour left to play. That's more than enough time. We just got to stay focused. Don't panic and build up on it. And when the opportunity comes, we've got to take it. Number 14 gets there before Nathan Palmer. The last thing we want is to be going down 3-1. Nathan leaves one on him. Ref plays a good advantage. It comes to the number 11. He was pretty decent. He looked quite dangerous on it. Good save there from Cap. Uh, only as far as the 20, MK comes to clean it up, clears it away. Lovely little spin from this winger here, lets one fly on his left. Good block there from Breezy, eventually clear it away. So this game was a 10.30 a.m. kickoff pretty early for the Dons. Most of the lads had their porridges and Weetabix, etc. MK had Jollof Rice. I'll show you. We talk about the power of impact subs. Toby Coker, since he's come on, has caused a lot of problems. It's a good little link up there with Boogie and Nathan Palmer. Collects it back through, takes one in the leg, and that is a penalty kick. Yeah, we love it! What's the heat, huh? So 21 left to go, two apiece. Don's back in the game, perfect timing. Ball falls down to Jay Boogie. Or Jay Bogey. Oh, oh, wow. What is wrong with him today? He ain't fucking finishing. How do you get a winning dressing room? You need to get a group of lads willing to do anything for the badge. That's what we got at the moment. Players playing out of position. Jay Boogie doing a job at right back. Jay Neville beats his man, fires it in. Comes up for a corner. Corner taken short. Coco knocks it into lefty. He's got Nathan Palmer just to his left. He lines it up for him. Cross or a shot, you decide. If two all in a game that you're struggling to get a hold of, you look over and you see them bring on Zach Ansar and Splatan Ibrahimovic. It's a long day. 78-22, about 12 left to go. Nathan Palmer turns into trouble. Good challenge for the midfield man. He leaves one on him. Into the last 10 now, Breezy. Driving forward, little nutmeg sandwich there. Picks out Splatan Ibrahimovic. Looks out wide to Toby Coker. He's been causing havoc since he's come on. Almost like a South London Gillespie. Driving at the number 17. Beats him as well. Fires it in there. Tries to pick out Zach Ansar. So close. So from for the Dons, the bookstar. Fires one in there. Zach Ansar rises. What a return that would have been. He finds the net. But the ref saying it was a foul. Harsh for me. So 84-16, we've been told there's six of normal and four stoppage. So that's about 10 in total. Varane knocks one forward. It headers down only as far as the Bengali Messi. How about that for vision? He picks out Toby, TK, Coca. DJ, spin something. I learned thing for them there. Nobody nothing knows see me and you touch. Nobody nothing knows if you walk it up. Nobody nothing knows if you come over me again. So be, I love you back. Nobody nothing knows see me and you touch. Nobody nothing knows if you walk it up. Nobody nothing knows see you come over me again. Baby, you know me love you back. I'm getting, I'm getting them off, I'm getting them off. Hey boys, get off the pitch, man. Yeah, get, get off the pitch, man. Hey, 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 get off the pitch. Hey, hey, I'm getting them off. Hey, come on, come on. That's why I was running. That's why I was playing running to get them off the pitch. It's what we knew. We knew it was in the last minute. It's what we knew.
and you still give that well, but you didn't what, give the foul next throw. Week, yeah. Next week, yeah. Next week, you can do it. You do it. You do not want Essie Dons to win. That's the that's the story. Everyone makes mistakes. made a couple of things. Three, two up, two left to go. We need someone to come on and do the dirty work, the boring stuff. That's why we throw diggers on objective. Get it. Give it to the better players. I'll be honest, I gotta give credit to Kingy and Rano. Them substitutions at the time they was made have really changed this game. Splat, he's held it up excellently there. It's come to Toby Coker. He's just been savage. Fires it through to Splatty. Great ball. Tries to cut across to Zach. Cleared off the line. Shit bunch of scotties, you're just a shit bunch of scotties. Shit bunch of scotties, you're just a shit bunch of scotties. Still here, right? <laughs> here for the tackles, I guess. 93 on the clock. Boogie forward to Toby Coker. I've seen him do this stuff with the fives right in front of the punters. They're loving it. Uh, keeps possession and finds Boogie. Boogie looks forward, picks out lefty. The Don's just keeping it now, running down the clock. Remember, this team are top of the Woolwich division. Lefty drives in there. Punters love a bit of that. And like I said before, I've said it many times, there's no experience like an Essie Don's experience. For those of you that can't come to games, I try to make you live it and feel it how we're feeling it. So I'm going to be quiet. Enjoy this. It's just like watching Brazil! It's just like watching Brazil! It's just like watching Brazil! We're watching Brazil! We're watching Brazil! It's just like watching Brazil! Oh, you do pop! Oh, you do pop! Oh, you do pop in the sky! Oh, you move up. Go on then. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh yes! Yeah. Free kick dons. Toby Coca! Hey, George, get off the pitch, man. What are you dancing for? Hey, we'll take it. You're just a piece of cake. You're just a piece of cake. I know you are. I'll show you why you're just a piece of cake. You're just a piece of cake. You're just a piece of cake. I know you are. I'll show you why you're just a piece of cake. This is the new. You're just a piece of cake. I know you are. I'll show you why you're just a piece of cake. You're just a piece of cake. You're just a piece of cake. I know you are. I'll show you why you're just a piece of cake. I'll be honest, guys. Forgive me. I just wanted you to enjoy the experience. Eventually, the full-time whistle goes. It's SC Dons four, Red Velvet two, and we progress to the semi-final of the cup that we currently own. I want to big up Red Velvet. They've had a successful season. I can see why a tough side. And I wish them all the best going forward. So what that now does is put SC Dons into the semi-final of the Plumstead. Semi-final of the London. And still on uh, for the league and the League Cup. So there's four trophies that we're currently playing for. Before I sign out, don't forget. 
5,000 likes is what we're asking for. Please like the video if you haven't done so. Please subscribe to the channel. Head over to SEDons.com. Go and buy your SE Dons merch. But in particular, if you go and get an SE Dons kit, then make sure you use the Sunday 15 discount code. You'll get 15% off. Anything is possible when you work hard and believe. Stop making excuses. I'll see you next week. Just a piece of cake. You're just a piece of cake. I know you are. Just a piece of cake. Right, listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Oh, when you're done. Done. Done right in here. Oh, when the dance goes right in here. I do. 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 Rory. Right wing back. Boogie. Right back. Ellis. Left wing back, left back. These are these are guys that are playing out of position. Not a word, not a complaint. That are going in and getting the job done. Guys, as a team, as a unit, the, what we used to struggle with is people understanding where they're playing, how much time they're playing. Now, as a team, nobody's questioning that. Nobody's sulking. Nobody's upset, and that's what's allowing us to be successful. And it's absolutely brilliant, guys. Fantastic. Can we, can we add as well, Zach Ansar, Yeah, he's been struggling. Today and he's putting the shift. Also, I want to quickly say one thing on camera, yeah, from everyone at the Dons. <coughs> we haven't seen John and Wendy at a game for a long time, and we haven't heard from them either. So I just want to put a message out there to hope you guys are good and get in, get in contact with us, innit? Yeah. So we're all thinking of you, lot. But yeah, two semi-finals, man. Well done, boys. Yeah, well done. Come on! Hands in, hands in. Hands in, hands in. Hands in. Hands in. They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything. They know, they know, they know. They know.